Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Smith and I'm the product manager for Oracle SQL Developer. And this morning I want to spend a couple minutes just to show you a few of my favorite tricks and some tips for working with your PL SQL in the tool. I'll be using version 3.1, which was released in February of 2012. And if you've got an older version of the tool, you're more than welcome to upgrade for free, of course. So you can do help check for updates, or you can navigate to our Oracle Technology or OTN product page and download your version of SQL Developer there. So SQL Developer has two editors. Everyone's probably familiar with the worksheet. It's where you can do you know, interesting things like this. So ad hoc queries, and, and you can do you know uh, anonymous block stuff here if you want. What I'm more interested in showing is the procedure editor, which is for dealing with your PL SQL objects. So let's take a look at some code that everyone has, and that's the dbms output package in sys. So first I'm going to show you how to use the keyboard to navigate your connection tree. So my current connection highlighted, I'm going to hit arrow right. Yeah, activate and then arrow right, and then I'm going to hit O, which will navigate me to other users, and then right arrow to bring me down, and then I'm going to hit S, hit, keep hitting S until I get to Sys, and then right arrow, and I'm going to hit P for packages, right arrow, and now I'm just going to actually type dbms output. So that takes me to the package. So some people find that a little tiring and I'm not really a keyboard person sometimes, I'm more of a mouse person. So you do have an option in SQL Developer. If you right click on your connection, you can ask for a schema browser. And this gives you a different way of navigating your database objects. So you have a schema drop down selector and then an object type selector. And then you can also key into these objects. And of course, you can also employ filters to only show you what you want to see. So here's just these objects that resolve to that filter. All right, so that's interesting. Now, when I click into that object, this over here is the procedure editor. So this is a read-write presentation of the code in the database. And it's not that long, it's maybe a little short of 200 lines. But it can be tiring um, even to scroll back and forth, up and down in this thing. So if I expand the tree here, I can double click into these methods and procedure calls and function calls and that auto navigates me to that piece of the code. Now let's say I'm going to be working on uh, this enable piece a lot. So if I right click in the gutter space, I can toggle a bookmark. And you can do this as many times as you want. And control Q will take me between my bookmarks. But there's no way to jump to a specific bookmark, which I think is more interesting. So what I can do instead is uh, assign a numbered bookmark. So I want to jump to this line of code on demand. So if I hit control shift six, that will create a bookmark six. And then if I come back up to the top, if I hit control six, it navigates me to that line. So you guys do the math, but I could do that as many as 10 times, creating bookmarks zero through nine for a total of 10. So again, the shortcut for that is control shift number. So that's bookmark number seven. And then control seven takes me to bookmark seven and control six takes me to bookmark six. So I think that's a neat trick. Now someone has told me that they think there's just way too much going on in SQL Developer. Um, and there's too many windows and panels and 
you've got your logs and your DBMS output. And I can see where they're coming from. So here's another trick I want to show you. Um, if you've ever used WordPress to do a blog, um, they have something called the full screen blog editor, which I like a lot. It hides all of the extraneous panels. We have the same feature in SQL Developer. If you double click here, it takes me to a full screen editor for my code. So basically we'll hide all of the other panels and just show me the procedure editor itself. And of course, if I double click, it takes me back out to see everything else as well. So those are our three tricks, uh, navigating the tree or using the schema browser to double click into a method, setting numbered bookmarks, or using the full screen editor. I hope this helps uh, you be just a bit more productive working with Oracle and your PLSQL source. And feel free to come back to my blog, uh, thatjeffsmith.com, or follow me on Twitter, thatjeffsmith.